Right, so many of you guys have been asking me whether we'll see a better version of the M1 Max in the bigger iMac, since of course it has better thermals that can accommodate better performance. Well, we do have a tidbit today that does suggest we could see the M1 Max Duo in the bigger iMac, and so let's delve into it, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours, and with that being said, let's just suck in. Right, so the following tidbit is coming from both Max Tech for YouTubers and also a source called Apple Tree. But do note, while there have been multi die references in macOS for these M1 Max chips, these are predictions for the most part, and so they could be wrong. Right, so they believe we could see an M1 Max Duo in the bigger iMac. This, as the name hints at, is going to be two M1 Maxes put together, which of course is going to offer you 20 CPU cores, 64 GPU cores, and also up to 128 gigs of RAM. Since, of course, one M1 Max chip allows for up to 64 gigs, and so two of those should allow for 128 gigs. Now, I'll be honest, guys, I don't think Apple cares about giving us that much RAM in this iMac because, as we've seen in plenty of videos, 64 and even 32 gigs of RAM has been fine for so many workflows, and so I would not be surprised if RAM still capped at 64 gigs. But these guys do bring up a good point, and that is the 27 inch iMac supports 128 gigs of RAM, and so the replacements having less RAM could be seen as a downgrade, and so for that reason, maybe Apple does give us the option to max out the RAM to 128 gigs. Now, some of you guys might be wondering why we even need an M1 Max Duo in this iMac. Well, of course, the M1 Max chip is a beast, but compared to the higher end configurations of the 27 inch Intel iMac, the M1 Max is pretty comparable, but it's not a generational leap forward. For example, Max Tech pointed out the RX 5700 XT in the 27 inch iMac is just below the M1 Max in terms of GPU performance. And well, of course, Apple wants to flex their silicon and make it a massive jump over their Intel Max. And so the M1 Max in the GPU aspect might not be enough. And also do remember that like I've said before, this iMac is going to have better thermals than the MacBook Pros, and so surely those thermals can accommodate more powerful chips. Because do remember that with a MacBook Pro, Apple has to balance the performance and also the efficiency of the laptop, since of course for a laptop, battery life is pretty crucial. But of course the iMac's not a portable machine, and so that means Apple can go all in on the power and offer the best performance with the higher end iMacs. And yes, I know that Apple did nothing with the 24 inch iMac to of course take advantage of the better thermals, but do remember that's a machine for regular Joes and so they do not need pro performance and so the M1 is more than fine for that price point. Whereas of course the bigger iMac is solely going to be for professionals and so of course for their high-end workflows, they might appreciate the boost in performance. So yes, on the whole, I'm pretty confident we're going to see an M1 Max Duo with the bigger iMac, and I'm looking forward to seeing the performance this beast of a machine offers. Anyways, tell me in the comments below, guys, do you think we're going to get an M1 Max Duo in the bigger iMac? Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the M1 Max Mac Mini and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.